Taylor Smart to lead it off for Tennessee. Takes on the outside corner called strike 0 and 1. It's been kind of a strange scoring game so far. You had the two runs in the first, an infield single, a hit batsman, a ball that was thrown into center field by the catcher. And then you had the pop up that was lost in the sun by the second baseman Maddox in the bottom of the first that scored the run. Otherwise, you know, we wouldn't have any scoring. Hey, that's why we're here. Place. A lot of action in inning number one. I love it. Smart hits it to deep left. That ball Back goes Armstrong. Out. It is gone. Home run number eight of the year at this park. Wow. And Taylor Smart with just his second home run of the season. He got all of that one. It's three to one Tennessee. And it's really a base stealing situation here with two down. He'd love to take off if he can get a good jump. And the throw over. What's the key for the pitcher, though? The lefty Cox to keep him close. Well, you know, if you can just keep him close, as you just said, you don't have to pick him off. But if you can keep him from getting a good jump on the ball, you can keep him from stealing second, and it takes two base hits to score him versus. One ball, one strike to count. You know, you heard. Zach Randolph, the catcher in our sounds of the game, saying we should have won on Friday. That was unusual for Tennessee to actually win a Friday game, beating Mississippi State. They were 1-7 on Friday nights entering this series, so that had to feel really good. But Coach Serrano, the Volunteers, he has said that, you know, they handle those losses well. They've handled that throughout the year, but in the game, they haven't handled adversity as well as he would like to see. This could be a double play. Simcox the second one. Maddox the first. In time. Double play. 6-4-3. Off the bat of Heck. That's a big play for the Mississippi State hosting Tennessee. Hello again, everybody. I'm Joe Castellano, along with former Major League pitcher Paul Bird. It's the rubber match of a three-game series, and it is senior weekend. And these two teams, they really rely on pitching and defense. We've seen some great pitching this weekend. Both teams have gotten players on base, but they haven't been able to get that timely hit. We'll see who can make their mother happy today. I think this game is going to come down to the bullpen. And keep in mind that Jonathan Holder is out. Maybe he's good for one hitter. He comes into some Johnny Cash. We'll miss him. We'll see if the other guys can step up. Well, the number three hitter in both lineups, very, very important. For Mississippi State, that's Brett Pirtle, who has reached in 56 consecutive SEC games. 